Hello yeah. and yeah. welcome to EBC Kids Monthly Awards Ceremony. Through EBC Kids platform, we are creating stable and internally powerful children of today. Through our special program, which includes a morning routine, daily activities and special events. Our method helps kids around the world to build the stability within, to become powerful citizens of tomorrow, rooted in love and kindness. Our club is founded on the science and wisdom that those who wake up early achieve more in life. Our mission is to enable every child reach their highest potential by becoming early risers, by inculcating values and ethics, by developing leadership skills and qualities, by nurturing inherent talents, and by participating in world affairs. Our program is curated around these missions. So let's celebrate this outstanding day and our incredible participants. But before we hand out our awards, uh, I really want to thank the team of volunteers uh, because of whom uh, we were able to put all this together. They have really put in their time, effort and dedication. I have with me Pratibha. Uh, Pratibha is the board member for EBC Kids. Hi Smriti. Hi Pratibha, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Pratibha, uh, first of all, can we have the summary of uh, what we did uh, at EBC Kids Club in December 2020? Absolutely, Smriti. So first of all, I would like to um, say, wish everybody a very, very happy new year in this uh, uh, on this occasion. It is, uh, it is our first awards of 2021 and uh, the last month December has been a very very eventful month at EBC uh, at EBC kids we have had lots of fun because we had Christmas we had New Year and uh, there were so many festive activities of craft of dance of music and the children have absolutely had very good fun they also took part in activities for doing New Year resolutions. So we wanted to, of course, it's an adult thing to create New Year resolutions. Children as young as five and probably above may not think about it seriously, but we wanted to bring in that, you know, bring in that uh, a novelty for, uh, for the new year. So we just mm -hmm. put in that idea and we've got many children thinking about something great for the coming year. Another one uh, very interesting thing which happened last month is that we have adopted a new program, uh, a new theme for EBC activities. And okay. when we say we are going to create leaders of our EBC kids, we mean world leaders of purpose. So it's not just world leaders who are going to become big CEOs of companies who are going to amass a lot of wealth and then, you know, ruin the earth. But we mm -hmm. mean create leaders who are going to be purposeful, who are going to change the world for the better. And what better way to inculcate in our children the United Nations goals so anybody would think, oh, my God, children as age is five. What can they do with United Nations goals? But we think it's, it's never too young for our children to start becoming an important, important player in the world. So I would like to take this opportunity to share with all of you where our, um, the goals for our program is coming from. I'll just do a screen share. Mm -hmm. You can see my screen? Yep. Mm -hmm. So as part of our program, we are adopting the United Nations Development Program. So we are trying to bring in those concepts and values. 
This UNDP program operates in 177 countries where they are looking to bring in a lot of development in the local countries. Mm -hmm. And the development goals which the UN is working on, it is categorized into 17 areas. So you can see uh, it's about poverty, it's about good health, it's about underwater life, it's about everything that is pertaining to the world, which our children need to slowly start becoming aware of, need to prepare and need to create a new world by bringing in awareness and understanding towards these world issues. Of course, they are still young and we are not giving them big problems as yet, but we are making it fun for them, getting them to at least hear and see these things, which probably otherwise they may not even have come across. Mm -hmm. And in the last month, we picked one of those themes, which is life below water. And our children have had absolute fun. They have created, they have done a lot of research on underwater life. They have done craft. They have expanded their imagination. They have created videos. They have sung songs on underwater life. And it's been a fun time for everybody. So I just have some photos here for all of you to see. So this is part of some research which Maple has done on the underwater animals and plants. And here we have this Midul who said his favorite underwater animal is a shark. And he even had a song for that shark. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> okay. And uh, we, have, uh, we, had a, we had a craft for the underwater life where we had children make such amazing underwater animals using paper and other stuff. So you can see Anvita and Sahasra. They got a real, uh, they really got very, very creative. And that's the beautiful mm -hmm. thing what they made. And of course, mm -hmm. it was not just fun. We also wanted to give them a little exposure of what the plastic is doing to the underwater animals. So you can see in one of our, under, uh, one of our daily activities, they have done some research to see what the plastics are doing there under the water. And these are some of, uh, uh, are a part of the research what they have done. Yeah. So that's what uh, the last one month has been, has been a lot of fun and frolic and has been quite informative and motivating at, at a very, very high level as well. That's amazing, Pratibha. So beautiful to see kids uh, doing such amazing research and work uh, in their activities. It's, it's really, really incredible. Thank you, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, next, we have uh, our special guest for tonight. Um, since the theme for this month is good health and nutrition for kids, we have a very special and senior yoga teacher from Himalayan School of Traditional Yoga who will guide our kids towards the importance of practicing yoga in our daily lives. I welcome Pooja Gandhi from Himalayan School of Traditional Yoga. Hello, Pooja, and welcome, welcome to this show. Hello, Smriti. Hello, Pratibha. So wonderful to be here. Thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity to be amongst your star kids. <laughs> I feel like a star in midst of them. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have done a wonderful job in, uh, you know, giving them so much exposure and uh, such beautiful platform it is to bring so many things together under one platform and uh, uh, really, really amazing to have here out the screen, uh, the snapshot that uh, Pratibha just gave us. Yeah. <laughs> So Pooja, can you just enlighten us on uh, our kids and everyone who's watching this show, the importance of yoga in uh, kids' uh, routine and how it can really help and transform them. Yes, yes, it is actually so wonderful to see all the kids joining. I hope they are doing yoga every day. Uh, are we yes, having them are. online, the kids? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I hope they're practicing every day. I wanted to actually hear it out from them. How do they feel? What do they feel about it? Okay, okay. so 
any of the kids you are free to uh, you know yeah hello anita hello um Anjita, I'm I'm not able to hear clearly. What did she say, Smriti? Were you able to hear her out? Um, can can you say that again, Anvita, a bit loudly? Yeah. Uh, so at first, some of the yoga poses were a little tough for me, but as they went on and I kept practicing every day, I got better. You practicing every day? How do you feel? How do you feel after practicing? And relaxing. Very relaxing. Okay. Anyone else who would want to share? Yes, uh, I'm practicing yoga every day, ma'am. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. How how do you yeah. feel? Uh, we also yeah. practice yoga every day. Um, so wonderful. I'm so happy while after chanting Om and meditation. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So see, uh, this is a beautiful way. Uh, yoga is a tradition that our uh, ancient masters has given to us. Okay. So yoga is not uh, just for the body. Okay. We may be doing a lot of movements of the body. Uh, of course, it gives a lot of joy, happiness. what the what yoga means is basically to know ourselves helps us to know ourselves better okay it help, it means a unity with our own real self okay at this tender age when the kids are doing i think i should congratulate the parents also who are supporting their kids to do this and to you all who are uh, you know uh, making a routine for the kids to get into this a uh, beautiful habit it takes a lot of time or when you introduce these habits at a tender age it uh, really helps in you know increasing the focus the memory the immunity of the kids uh, helps to build the physical strength mental strength and you know it kind of unwraps the uh, uh, potential that the kid has maybe any underconfidence or uh, you know any uh, uh nervous uh, system uh, problems that they may have it helps us to overcome by just going through that whole process and the best thing is that uh, yoga gives uh, benefit to all those who practice so it is not limited to i mean anyone irrespective of any caste creed yoga uh, gives benefit to all all those who are able to practice so i hope you all continue to practice uh, every day okay even if it's a short routine for you all 15 minutes 20 minutes whatever time you can give and try to go slowly and slowly more deeper into the practice you know gradually as you learn more try to do uh, practice with the breath okay because uh, as it is says someone uh, who can breathe can practice yoga so yoga is for everyone okay yoga is tells us about the do's and don'ts of life uh, yoga is activity movement that we do yoga is breath and then yoga is the calmness the stillness the joy that you feel that is real you okay so stay connected with that real you the real joy <laughs> thank you smriti that's wonderful so words of wisdom for our kids pooja that was lovely and i hope i really hope that it inspires our kids um to practice more and more and be more consistent with their practice okay so now we will move on uh, to our awards the first category of awards is for active engagement the kids who really actively engage in in day to day interactions conversations and you know, thereby increasing their friendships they they help in uh, you know uh, creating more unity in the group more liveliness so we have chosen two of those kids today uh, who are really active in the group so one of them is bhishma and the other one is anvita can we have both of you uh, on your videos congratulations bhishma and anvita 
So do you kids really enjoy interacting um, on the EBC Kids group? Uh, yes, it's actually very fun. Um, I love to see, like, um, if I like other people's activity, uh, I love to say, like, good job, great job. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's very nice, and with actually to encourage other kids. That's that's so beautiful. How about you, Bhishma? Do you like doing that? You're very active in the group. Uh, yes, because I just like encouraging my friends to do more and more activities. That's so beautiful of you. That shows how how beautiful you are at heart. That's so lovely. Thank Can we have the certificates? Yeah, welcome. Can we have the certificates? Congratulations, congratulations, kids. We'll move on to the next category. Our second category is the rewards chart. So we have this thing called as rewards chart where kids um, actually rewards, reward themselves. Um, uh, so whenever they do any activity, like say they wake up early, they give themselves a sticker or they do the daily activity, they give themselves a sticker. So like that, they, they prepare their own rewards chart. And at the end of each week, they share the reward chart with us. And that's how we come to know how regular they are being in the group. Uh, so we have chosen for this category, uh, four kids. They are Kalina, Meera, Bhishma, and Anvita. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. So uh, Kalina, can we hear from you? What's what's your most favorite part of the routine? Um, well, I really like um, doing yoga and I really enjoy all the activities and all the mm -hmm. fun sessions. Wonderful. That's great. What about you, Mira? What's the best thing you like? Um, I like to wake up early morning and um, doing the activities. Okay, that's nice. How about you, Bishma? I like doing the daily activities. They are so fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, they they indeed are. What about you, Anvita? Uh, I like waking up early and doing the activities. I just feel proud of myself when I give a uh, give myself a sticker. Indeed, indeed. So great. Can we have the certificates? Moving on to our next category. Um, it's the special achievement category. And here I would like Pratibha to announce these special awards. Yeah, Smriti. Uh, it's, it's really an honor and pleasure to announce these special winners who have really shined during the last month. So the first winner is Kalina. Last month, she has had a ball of time at, at EBC. For our underwater um, animal theme, she and her small brother, they have created such a beautiful and powerful message for the entire world. I mean, it's so beautiful and it's something which anybody would feel like taking that advice. So we will play that video that's with, uh, in a short while. 
another uh, important thing what uh, she did during this month is that uh, she just moved on to her middle school and she secured a grades uh, after a lot of hard work and struggle with all this covid and you know all this going on and another important thing what she said is that she attributes this good a grades to evc how wonderful is that wow we would really Great. like to hear from her on that but that's not all with kalina this in the last month she was even doing a ballet show for all the kids so she's so talented she hosted a show of her own on ebc kids for everybody kalina you've been so amazingly beautiful in the last month and we're so proud of you so so we really want to hear from you about all these wonderful things that you're you're doing so what motivated you to create that video with your younger brother jason um well i really like all the animals and i want to help them all and it's really sad when i see like all the waters such as um like oceans and rivers and it's really sad to see like there are a lot of plastics in there and it's really sad and i want to help like all the animals that live there because they That's eat amazing. all the plastic and then they die yes yeah that's so nice and jason also joined you for that so he was also aware and he was also keen about uh, about the project is it uh, yes <laughs> it was very nice to see five year old jason in the video trying to tell everybody that you know don't throw plastics into the water that was very inspiring <laughs> and now okay tell us what happened with the with the a grades in school and how do you think ebc has has contributed or added some value there um well i uh, tried to get up early and i organize my time and uh, that's how i have like more time to study and concentrate um on in school <laughs> that is actually very very inspiring for every child who's watching this because the entire concept of ebc is getting the children wake up early have a very structured kind of a life where they can have enough room for doing what they really want to do and you with your hard work and with your example you have proved to everybody or you're showing the way that yes ebc kids way is the way forward that's wonderful kalina thank you and uh, how did you feel about doing the show at ebc your ballet was wonderful um yes i enjoyed it uh, it was fun like uh, to learn to teach someone a uh, ballet and it was really fun <laughs> I was excited. That's amazing. You were nervous coming on the show all on your own and coming out in front of the camera or you were a bit comfortable and easy? Um well It's I was <laughs> like excited and and first That's i was amazing. nervous but uh, then i enjoyed it <laughs> that's amazing i think that's what we do at ebc where we give young children opportunities and give them uh, an opportunity to overcome their fears of course anybody is scared to just come out and do a show but you're doing it once you're doing it twice and then you become confident and then you become a pro in that right <laughs> Well yes. done, well done, Kalina. Thank you. So let's move on to the next special awards awards winner. Okay, yeah, I think it's it's time to see Kalina's work over the last uh, uh, over the last month.
this is it's Kalina and Yasen. And today we're going to tell you about the plastics that are thrown in the sea. Over one million animals died. Uh, yes, they die because they eat the plastic that is thrown in the sea. And we have to save all the creatures that live there. And we can uh, do that by not using and throwing plastic. We can recycle the plastic and instead of using plastic bags, we can use reusable bags. And we shall not release balloons in, into the air because they travel far and end up in our oceans and the turtles use the balloons as food. This is for today's activity by Yasin and Kalima. Bye. Bye. Beautiful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So let's move on. Okay, there's another one coming. I'm 11 years old. Uh, the beautiful music is by Tchaikovsky. He's a Russian com uh, compositor. Um, so first, the ballerinas uh, should be really healthy, uh, their body should be super straight, uh, they should be super flexible. That's amazing, Kalina. That looked like Beautiful. almost out of the movies. <laughs> well done, well done, dear. Thank you. Let's move on to the next person who is getting a special award at EBC. That's our Bhishma. Bhishma is only seven years old and he created a beautiful video for us on our underwater animal theme. He's telling us how we can contribute to protecting our underwater animals. So we'll just watch the video. Yeah. 
Hi, Bhishma. So how, um, how did you find out about plastic and underwater animals? Did you knew anything about plastic and underwater animals before this activity? Yeah, uh, I, I read a book and it gave information in that book. Ah, that's nice. So you read about it and you made this, uh, you made this video for us, is it? You enjoyed making it. You uh, you enjoyed the underwater animal, all the activities and the themes. Yes. You got to learn a lot. So, so what is the best part you learned from those activities? I learned how to save underwater animals. Wonderful, wonderful. So, as you grow up, you can. You can bring in a lot of change in the world where everybody can take care of underwater animals and they can feel safe, right? Yeah, I will I will send a big submarine underwater so the submarine collects all plastic in the ocean and uh, and then recycles it. Wow, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I think I saw I saw a picture of you. You had drawn the submarine as well, right? Yes. How do you get these ideas about making the submarines? Uh, I use my creativity to... to... <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing, Bhishma. You're extremely talented and we really love to see you shining at EBC. We hope all your, all your submarines and every idea that you have becomes real. And we really hope children like you will lead the world of tomorrow into a beautiful tomorrow. Well done, Bhishma. Thank you. <laughs> And in this category, we have another child that is Mira. So as part of our, uh, as part of one of our daily activity, we invited children to post, uh, post any video of their talent. And we had a beautiful, uh, beautiful video from Mira on her dance. So we'll, we can all watch the dance now. <laughs> amazing that was beautiful Mira beautiful. and uh, very well done thank you thank you Mira? we can't see you Mira you can on your camera Mira hi Mira are you there we can't see you do you want to on your camera and talk to us? Okay. 
So that was amazingly beautiful, Mira. We really appreciate the efforts in recording that. I mean, I think that was the best part of it. The kind of you know, uh, so beautifully you've danced. Firstly, you've you, you've been learning for a long time, and the kind of effort and the dedication you put into that recording that was so amazing for us. I mean, we wish every child would give their hundred percent to everything they do, and that becomes as part of their life, so that they are operating at their hundred percent at every point. So brilliant job, Mira. Wish you all the very best for the future. So that's it, Smriti, from me. All the three award winners in the special awards category. Yeah. Do you also have the certificates? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so our oh, next category. Sorry, I'm having some network issues. That's why I exited. Sorry. Oh, okay, right. okay, no worries. <laughs> okay, Mira. Uh, so our next category is uh, uh, the Christmas song participation. So the kids actually um, sang a Christmas song. They had to learn particular um, song with particular actions and they had to perform it. So quite a few of our kids actually did that. Uh, I'll take out their names and they're going to receive the special certificate for participating in the Christmas song. And we will also now see the Christmas song as well. But uh, let me first take out their names. Khyati, Litika, Meera, Parvati, Maple, Kalina, Midul, Shravani, Anvita, Nandini and Mahadaksha. So kids, did you enjoy doing that Christmas song? Yes. Yes, it was really fun. Yeah. Yes. So was it was it difficult to learn those actions and singing, or was it easy for you? No, oh, ma'am. For me, it was it's really cool. easy. Oh, was <laughs> okay. All right. So, can we just see that beautiful song that they did?
so beautiful. Just lovely. So can we have the certificates? All right, uh, Pratibha, it's time for you to uh, speak about um, the theme uh, for January 2021. Absolutely. So as I was telling you, Smriti, um, we are, um, we have adopted the UN goals as our themes. So mm -hmm. that gives us a lot of um, opportunity to work on something that is of a larger cost. And in this month for, for uh, Jan 2021, 20, uh, our theme is, is good health and nutrition. So we are introducing this concept of good health and nutrition to our kids. They have started to, uh, as part of our daily activities, as part of our events, we are getting the children to do, to think about healthy food to think about what nutrition these food have, to create a, a, a kind of a health chart for themselves. Uh, also to think about growing their own veggies in their own garden. And again, not just think about themselves and their health, start to think about their family health and also expand to just exploring their thoughts on the world health as well. So those, that's the scope of what we want to do in the good health and nutrition in this month. We just want to tickle their uh, imagination in this full area. And uh, we can already see the children having a lot of fun. Yeah, I remember uh, ma them making, you know, some animal figures out of fruits. So that was really beautiful. <laughs> they came up with such <laughs> good ideas. Um, Auntie, uh, Auntie Parvati is having something to tell about that song. Okay. okay, yeah, she can come online and tell about that song, yes. The activities in UDC are very interesting. I got an opportunity to sing a song. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. <laughs> we didn't see you, Parvati. You should have switched on your camera. We would have enjoyed seeing you. Yes, Auntie, our uh, camera is on. Oh, your camera is on? Okay, okay. So, ah, oh, yeah, there you are. Okay, yeah, Parvati, so cute. Do you want to say that again? Um, the activities in EBC are very interesting. I got an opportunity to sing a song. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. <laughs> that is so cute, Parvati. That is very nice of you. I'm glad you're enjoying the activities at EBC Kids and it's, uh, it's exciting you. Wonderful job. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> So that's the exciting thing which is happening in the entire of January, Smriti. So the children are now, I, I think as a part of our weekend activity, everybody is trying to create a garden for themselves and grow at least one vegetable, either outdoor or indoor in a pot, just getting them to explore and expand their thinking. That's so wonderful. <laughs> Okay, so we will move to our next category, which is hosting the show. Uh, we have two kids who hosted the show last month. One is Mila, Mila Mohan. Uh, I think she's not here today. And we have Kalina. So Kalina, how was it like hosting this show? I think we already talked, uh, talked to you about this, uh, but can we hear again, like how was it hosting the show on your own? 
How did you feel after that, actually? <laughs> Before that, you said you were a bit nervous. Uh, but oh, how did yes. you feel after that? Um, after that, I was happy. And mm -hmm. I was like, proud of myself. And Indeed. I was really happy. Definitely, yes. <laughs> So can we see their certificates, Kalina's and Mila's? Mila actually hosted an animal show, which was very interesting, uh, but she's not here today, but we will still uh, see the certificate she got. <laughs> Wonderful. Our next category of awards is for the leaders of the week. So every week, um, one child becomes the leader and he gives the activities for the rest of the kids to do for that week. And also he sends out some very inspirational daily quotes um, so that child is a leader for the entire week and he's able to express himself in terms of creating different activities for the group and uh, coming up with nice quotations from very famous people. Um, so for the month of December, we had leaders Anvita, Mahadaksha, Srihari, Meera and Parvati, and Meena. Can we have all of you on your videos, please? So how was it uh, like being the leader for you? Can we hear from Srihari? How did you feel becoming the leader? It was fun. Say that again, please. It was fun. It was fun. You liked it. Yeah. Would you Would you like to be the leader again, some other time? No. Will you? I don't know. Okay. You don't know. Okay. What about you, Mira and Parvati? Um, we are very happy to plan the activities. We try to give uh, interesting activities to our friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about you, Anvita? Uh, it was very fun. And, um, I, uh, I was trying my best to give uh, as, many, uh, as many creative activities as possible. Okay, wonderful. How about you, Mina? How did you like being the leader for the week? Um, I was really happy about it. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> did you also give out some underwater animal activities? Yeah. All right. That's wonderful. So can we have their certificates now? Okay, Mira. Uh, about morning routine. Morning routine is a very good thing. It changed me a lot. Um, I'm waking up early in the morning. EBC increased my confidence. And thank you, EBC. <laughs> That's wonderful, Mira. That's so beautiful. Okay, so our last category for today is the star of the week. So every week we select one or two kids based on uh, the, the daily activities that they do throughout that week. So based on that, we select one or two kids to be the stars for that week. So I'll call out the names of those kids who were stars uh, in the month of December. Again, Mira, Anvita, Nandita, Nandini, Srihari, Lithika, Khyati, and Navnita. Congratulations to all of you kids. You were great, you were great. You did so, so wonderful activities. Um, very, very nice work. Um, and it's, it's so wonderful to see you 
actively participating in the activities and putting up your best. One good thing is that you do so well. I mean, sometimes it really surprises us. The drawings that you make, the crafts that you make, it's, it is so beautiful to see your creativity. So much to learn from you. You are, you are stars, indeed are. Can we have the certificates? And if any of one of you would like to say something, any of you kid, then you're free to unmute yourself and speak. I'm so happy to get this award again. I think it's the fourth time I'm getting this award. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy to this this week because this helps to improve my concentration and mm -hmm. the team helps us clean. to stay calm and they helps us to stay enjoyed in the morning. I really like English a lot. I'm proud to be in English. That's so, and we are proud of you. <laughs> um, this award, uh, I am happy to receive this award. And uh, I actually love to do the activities every week. I do it with my own interest. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, I'm really happy to get this award. Um, and um, the activities are really interesting. And I love to do the morning routine. Okay, <laughs> lovely. Can I have their star of the week certificates? Okay, so now uh, we would have Pooja again. And uh, Pooja, um, um, can you please inspire our kids, you know, to do the yoga daily and uh, just tell them uh, the importance of, you know, being consistent and um, how yoga can really, really help and transform them. Can we hear that from you again? Hello everyone, once again, it is first of all, I would like to congratulate you all. You all are rock stars. <laughs> so amazing to see the uh, engagement uh, that you all have been, uh, you know, doing with so much of heart and soul into it. It is so encouraging. It is, I am feeling inspired to do something different in life with you all. <laughs> it is really, really amazing. So uh, as Priti said that, uh, you all have been doing yoga. I feel you're already inspired. You're already feeling, some of you said you're feeling relaxed, more relaxed and calm and concentrated, focused. You know, so all these are the benefits of yoga, which you are going to see in your life, even as you take little time to spend with yoga every day. Okay, know that it is working on you helping you to increase your memory, making you more strong, more focused, more energetic. Uh, so keep on with your daily practice. And as you keep on with your daily practice, uh, I would just like to add a few tips also on uh, little food uh, habits, not food actually, just habits. So uh, as also is little in, uh, uh, you know, uh, in sense with yoga. So I'm sure you all are wonderful kids. You're all washing hands before you eat, right? Can yeah. I hear from you all? Are yes. you washing hands before you eat? Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very good, very good. So are you, are you eating properly? Are you chewing the food properly that you eat? Yes. How many yes. times do you chew your yes. food? How many times? Uh... Number of, teeth, number of teeth you have, that many times you have to chew one bite. Okay, you have 18, then you 18 times, 20, 20 times. Will you do that? Yes. Will you do that? Okay, so yes. who is not having water, enough water? 
Are you having at least five glasses of water every day? Five to six? Yes. Okay, so try to have more water. Okay, it will help your skin glow. You'll shine like stars and sun. Yes, ma'am, I'm trying to do that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And one very, very important thing in uh, yoga, we are told, I was told by our teacher, uh, our beloved Sanjay sir, that you will not drink water when you are standing. So always sit and drink water. Okay, you will remember that? Okay, okay yes. always sit and drink water. So it will help you keep your knees strong. Okay? okay. So once again, uh, congratulations to all of you. So I would really want to give you all a big, big applause. Will you all give it to yourself with me? Huh? Big round of applause. All of you. There. You, you can unmute yourself, all of you. You can unmute yourself so that we can hear you. Clap. Long. Okay. You all can unmute yourself and clap for yourself, okay? Please, please, you don't have to stop. Clap more. Louder. More, more. Faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster. Faster, faster, faster. So well. Okay, <laughs> little more, little more. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, just close your eyes and feel. Just feel yourself. Close your eyes. Take a moment. Just feel yourself. Okay, you are a bundle of joy vibrating in your own self. You feel that joy in you? You feel it pulsating in your palms, in your heart. So that joy is real you, okay? So whenever you feel low, that's what you have to do. Just clap loud and long, okay? Lots of love to you all. Congratulations. See you all again. Thank you. Thank you for having me Thank here. You. Lots of love to Thank you. Thank you so much, Pooja, for your inspiring words and those beautiful tips that you gave to our kids about uh, washing their hands before eating and how many times should they chew each bite and the importance of drinking water. And whenever they feel low, they should just clap and feel those vibrations in their heart and, and you know, start feeling better again. That's so wonderful, uh, you know, that, that piece of uh, knowledge that you shared with our kids. Thank you so much for being on this show, Pooja. Thank you, you, really you. thank you so much. Time. Lovely to be here. <laughs> All right. Um, so um, coming to you again, Pratibha, um, can you just tell our audience uh, what, what can we expect from ABC Kids in the new year? Absolutely, uh, Smriti. So um, as from last year, we are trying to make our programs more interesting, more meaningful, and keeping with the mission of what we really want to achieve, a world where our children will glow, a, where, a world where it's going to be different from what we see currently, all the, all the pollution, all the negativities. Once we groom our children to, with the right values, with the right kind of leadership skills, we can really expect a new world. And going along with those themes is what we are planning our activities and our entire program for the 2021. One of them, as you've seen, we have already adopted the UN goals and we continue to work on those goals. So we, our plan is to groom our children slowly, gradually to understand and to take part in these activities. We are partnering with organizations who can easily take these children as representatives, as young representatives to UN. So of course, not very, very young children, but we start early, start to just groom them as early as possible. That's one of the things what we are doing. And because as a global platform, we want our programs to be uh, suitable for children across the world. So many of our programs in the last year was at one single you know, time. So many children from across other locations would not find it so convenient to join. 
So we are uh, expanding our programs to various, various kind of time zones as well. And we are uh, improving the parent interaction. We want to keep them involved in the loop. We want to make it a three-way uh, a partnership. We want to get them into this. So we, we, uh, we have some plans on that line as well. And we are always on the lookout for talented and, and the gifted children. And we really want to showcase them. We want to enjoy them. And we want the world to realize what beautiful children we have. And uh, these are some of the some of the programs which we are planning. We also plan to bring out some of our own books. We plan to bring out our own merchandise because our kids will be really happy wearing EBC hats and EBC t-shirts and using EBC stationery. So that's some area we are looking out for. And we really want to add value into the children's and parents' lives. So we are looking to do some workshops, some focused workshop with them. So those are what we are planning for the entire of 2021. Okay. That's very, very promising. I can really <laughs> visualize where this is heading to and um, our kids will definitely benefit and uh, bloom. <laughs> Absolutely. Our founder Mohanji has a beautiful vision for this program. He has created that reimagined song, which was also part of our uh, of our last year program. And uh, I think the reality for all of us is to bring that. Our goal is to bring that entire reimagined song into reality, and that's where you know I think our entire efforts are into. Yeah. Truly so. And with this, we come to an end to this EBC Kids monthly award program. Um, thanks everyone for joining and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you, Smriti. And no thanks problem. to everybody who's behind this to make this wonderful program. Yeah. Thank you, kids. Thank you, parents. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye, kids. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.